Good morning, folks. Today we'll be looking at the sun, a big earthquake, solar climate forcing, and the Earth's geomagnetic field, including how it relates to aviation. But let's start with our star. The coronal holes are crossing center disk towards the departing limb, and their solar wind is expected to arrive within 24 to 36 hours. We've seen only minor solar flares, and we're going to see why momentarily. We'll still be monitoring the incoming sunspot group on the north for eruptive behavior, but its activity over the last day actually makes it less risky for the time being. The evenly spaced train of sunspots underwent a grouping morph. Lead groups getting closer together, middle groups closer together, and all further away from each other and the caboose. For now, this means less interaction, but at this rate of change, they could easily begin becoming more interactive later today. That's why we keep an eye on them. There was only plasma activity at the minor level within the corona of the last 24 hours. Small eruption on the departing limb, surges from the northern incoming group, but just as it lacked considerable flaring, it lacked CME production in the Earth's direction. That snake-like plasma filament on the south is under eruption watch as well today, since it is large and facing Earth. Let's go to earthquakes next, where California rings in top of the list. Overnight, a 6.4 earthquake. Several calls of gas leaks, power outages, and cracked roads are reported. Since it was happening overnight, we don't have the full damage or any injury reports, but thoughts are with them and hopefully there's not many. Heading to the articles, we find this excellent paper on solar and geomagnetic forcing of the ocean temperature. The response to solar forcing dominates outside of seasonal variation and relates heavily to solar polar magnetic fields. This also implies that the weaker geomagnetic field we have in the ongoing pole shift has played a role in the heating of the oceans the last century, which in turn has a profound effect on the atmosphere. Speaking of the pole shift, we've seen several articles about runways being renumbered. The number of collisions has increased this year as well. And this paper from Romanian scientists details their need for much better monitoring of the shifts in the magnetic field for their aviation concerns in that country, as it frankly should be everywhere. If you missed both of our videos yesterday, the next live observers event is in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Hope to see some of you out there. Tickets found below the video at the link, and if you missed last night's special video, we are hoping to do a two-week blitz tour next year and would prefer to have the events at places owned by the observers. Restaurants or other event space is welcome. It's just a nice way to handle the meeting of observers in general. If you live in one of these areas and have such a place, email us today as we're planning to get this tour sorted out here in the coming weeks. We greatly appreciate your support. Tickets at the link below the video for the Cheyenne event. Same for our websites, books, and playlists. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.